And hi out there, everybody. This is Mr. Kowalski coming back at you again for your fourth grade music class lesson. And it's good to see you. Now, I think it's probably after Thanksgiving, so I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving break. I've got to record this one before Thanksgiving, so our timing is a little bit weird. But I hope you had a good Thanksgiving break. It's good to see you guys back, and I'm glad you guys are here. We're going to kind of pick up where we left off last week, and last time we had music class, we're doing a little bit of rhythm review. Now, we talked about rhythm review last week. And we sang that song about that commercial, that really, really old commercial song that we got a chance. That old jingle commercial song, if you remember it. It was that one called Hot Cross Buns, if you remember that one. Yeah, maybe you'll play, learn how to play it on your instrument if you're playing it in the band or the orchestra. It's that really easy one. Hot Cross Buns, Hot Cross Buns, One a Penny, Two a Penny, Hot Cross Buns. Right, that was a super, super easy one. And maybe you're learning to play it on an instrument, like I said, maybe not, um, along the way. But oh, this is that commercial jingle, that short, easy commercial song that we get a chance to uh, sing to help us remember a product that was being sold or a product that somebody wants us to buy. Remember the little girl sang this song to help her dad in the bakery sell those new hot cross buns. Well, when we talked about the rhythm that went along with this song, you could come over here and do a little bit of review with our rhythm and get a chance to talk about that. We talked about how the different notes, the different rhythm is the syllables on those different beats. And we know each one of these blanks here represents one beat in the song. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. And rhythm is how many syllables are on those beats, right? Like we said, hot cross had two syllables, buns had one syllable on it. Now we said last time too, when there are two syllables on a beat, we hook them together with a line like that. We add the dots down here at the bottom. We know if there are two syllables on a beat, we said those are TTs, right? If there's one syllable on a beat, we put that dot at the bottom, we call that one a ta. So we have hot cross buns again over here where we have TT and buns, ta. Hot cross was TT because there are two syllables on that beat and buns was ta. We got a chance to do that one too. Now then last time we looked at these two beats, one a penny, two a penny, and we said, hmm, one a penny had four syllables on that beat. Two a penny also had four syllables on that beat. Now, since they're all on the same beat, like we said, they had to be joined together. When we join them together like that, it shows us they're on the same beat. But since there are more, than, since there are four syllables on that beat, it's not just two syllables. If we have two syllables on the beat, it gets one line to hook it together for TT. But if there's four syllables on the beat, we've got to do a double line to hook it together like that to show those beats are divided into four equal parts and we gave those a new name. Right? Remember that new name from last week? We called those teary teary's if you remember those. And those are those dots at the bottom of them. So we have hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. But we have those TTs, we have those TAs, right? We said over here we have TT. We know that's called TT. Oh goodness, that's way too tiny. Let's make that really, really big. There we go. Awesome. So we call that TT, right? We know over here, when it's just one syllable on a beat, we call that one ta. So let's put ta right there for that one. But over here, when we had these four syllables on a beat, that's where we had that new one called teary teary, that new rhythm there. So again, if you sing those words, hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. But you guys are way better than worse, right? We could also do ti-ti-ta, ti-ti-ta, teary-teary, teary-teary, ti-ti-ta. And we can practice those rhythms. So practice the rhythm like that with me. You don't have to sing it. You can just go ti-ti-ta, ti-ti-ta, teary-teary, teary-teary, ti-ti-ta. So let's try that together. One, two, practice it, go. Ti-ti-ta. T T ta, teary teary, teary teary, T T ta. Now that teary teary is that hard part. Remember a couple weeks ago when we did that pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little tongue twister. Don't let those teary tearies get you tongue twisted. Teary teary, teary teary, T T ta. Let's do that. Teary teary, teary teary, T T ta. Right. So if we look at the same first two lines of the song, here we've got T T ta. T T ta. That's like the beginning of hot cross buns, hot cross buns. And here's the rest of it. Teary 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 T T ta. Or where it fits one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. So those are pretty easy over there too. But then we have these other flashcards we took a look at last week. So just for some practice, let's go back through these really really quick. Ready? Let's take a look at this one. Everybody say ta ta teary teary ta. Go ta ta teary teary 
One more time, practice. Ta, ta, tiri, tiri, ta. Go. Ta, ta, tiri, tiri, ta. Awesome review. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic job. Um, let's take a look at the next one. Ready? Now, this one's got one of those squiggly things in it. A little squiggly thing. Remember, that's a rest. Some people go shh on the rest. Some people just on the rest to remember it's no sound at all. So we'll go like this. Ta, tiri, tiri, ta. Ready? Try that one. Here we go. Ta, tiri, tiri, ta. Nice. Do it again. Ready? Go. Ta, tiri, tiri, ta. Nice, 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 nice. All right. All right. Let's do one more. One more of these. Ready? Just for practice. One more. One. Oh, with a little different order. Take a look at it. There's ta, tiri, tiri, and a t t. Now, don't get these two mixed up. Tiri, tiri has four syllables with the two beams going across. Ta, t t only has one beam with the two syllables tying together. Ready? So we'll go like this. Ta, tiri, tiri, t, t, ta. Everybody try that. Ready? Go. Ta, tiri, tiri, t, t, ta. Do it again. Ta, tiri, tiri, t, t, ta. One more. Ta, tiri, tiri, t, t, ta. Awesome. Fantastic. Very good review. Easy? Easy, of course. All right. Well, so today we're going to move on with a new song that's going to let us practice those ta's, t, t's, and those rhythms and things in there too. And this new song is a song called Ten in the Bed. Okay. Now, this is a song that maybe you've heard it somewhere. Okay, it's a really, really short, really, really easy song. Well, kind of short. It kind of goes like this. Ready? It goes, there were ten in the bed, and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. So there were nine in the bed, and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. Uh oh Now there were eight in the bed, and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Oh. Seven in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Six in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Oh. There's only five in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Oh. Hmm. Now there were four in the bed, and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. Oh, man. Down to three in the bed, and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. Oh, no. Now there were two in the bed, and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. Oh. Then there was one in the bed, and the little one said, good night. And that's it. That's the song, Ten in the Bed. That's right. Now, starts out with ten people crowded in this little old bed. And they're all smushed on each other, and they're trying to get comfortable and everything. And the littlest one in there was really, really crowded. So he told everybody to, what did he tell everybody to do? Remember? Right, he told everybody to roll over, roll over. Because he was crowded. He wanted a little bit more room. But when they all rolled over, what happened? One person fell out, right? One person fell out of the bed. And he was like, wait a minute. The little one was like, dude, when I said roll over, they rolled over. He fell out and there's a little more room on the bed. So one of them rolled out, then there were nine on the bed. So he tried it again. Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over to make room for him and then he fell out. Another one fell out of the bed, right? So down to eight. And he keeps telling them to roll over, roll over, roll over until they get down to the bed. And all of them roll out of the bed. And he's the last one that's left in the bed. Remember what he said when he got to the end? All right, he was ready to go to sleep. So he said, good night. Now, I don't know about you. I have two older brothers. I'm the youngest one in my family. And when we were little, if we were all crammed on one bed and I was the littlest one and I told them to roll over, roll over, they would have looked at me and said, man, you crazy. You can't tell us what to do. But I don't know why. In this song, the older ones listened to the little one. They kept rolling over until they finally rolled all the way out of the bed. Roll over, roll over. And off they rolled. And he finally got the whole bed to himself and said, good night and got to go to sleep. Now, we're going to be taking a look at this song today. Now, I know what you might be thinking. You maybe have heard this song before. Maybe you've heard this song a long, long time ago and heard this song before. And you might even be thinking to yourself, dude, Mr. Kowalski, we are in the fourth grade. We are way too cool and way too grown up to be singing this baby song about rolling over out of the bed. Hey, be honest. Is that what you're thinking? 
we're way too grown up for this. Yeah, this is a song that's been around for a really, really long time. And usually we think about learning this song when we're really, really little to count those numbers down and practice number down. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to stick with this song, though, but we're going to change it up a little bit. We're not going to do it the same way we did. We're going to kind of fourth grade it up a little bit. So to fourth grade it up a little bit, I'm going to need you to keep a steady beat for me, just like this, patting and clapping, just nice and easy. Now, it doesn't have to be loud, because if you're the only one at your home that's doing this, I don't want people to look at you like, what are you doing? That's weird. Ready? Ready? So just nice and easy. Just keep that steady beat for me. And I do need you to follow the leader for me, though. So we're going to kind of change it around a little bit the way we say it. We're not going to sing it this time. I want you to follow the leader, and I want you to say this after me. Ready? Here it comes. Ten in the bed, and the little one said. Ten in the bed, and the little one said. Yeah, we're going to change it up a little bit. Now, again, if you're the only one saying this at your house, that's okay. Just say along with me. Don't worry. People at your house, get over it. Ready? So everybody say, ten in the bed, and the little one said. One more time. Ten in the bed and the little one said. Ten in the bed and the little one said. Awesome. Nice job. Now that's going to be that follow the leader piece. Anytime we tap and pat and clap like that, that's going to be follow the leader. But now, in the old way we did the song, the little one said, pull over, pull over. But we're not going to do it that way anymore. We're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to change it to this. Sounds a little different, right? Yeah, a little bluesier, a little more grown up, a little jazzier sounding, maybe. Yeah, but instead of saying, roll over, roll over, roll, we're going to say, roll over, I'm crowded. So let's try that together. Again, right there at your computer, people at your house, they can get over it. Ready? Let's try it all together and say, roll over, I'm crowded. Ooh, not bad. One more time, I think we'll have it. Ready? Everybody together, go. Roll over, I'm crowded. Nicely done. Now we go back to the patent and clapping. So they all rolled over and one fell out. They all rolled over and one fell out. Remember, you got to follow the leader on that part, too. Ready? So they all rolled over and one fell out. So they all rolled over and one fell out. You got it. Awesome. So we'll start at the beginning with 10 in the bed. We'll all say, roll over, I'm crowded. And at the end, we'll say, we finally got that whole bed to ourselves. Ready? Here it comes. You got to follow the leader after me, and we'll do roll over, I'm crowded together. Ready? There were 10 in the bed, and the little one said, there were 10 in the bed, and the little one said, and we all do it together. Ready? Go. Roll over, I'm crowded. Let me go back to this. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. There were nine in the bed, and the little one said, everybody, roll over, I'm crowded together. Ready, go. Roll over, I'm crowded. Back to this. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. There were eight in the bed, and the little one said, there were eight in the bed, and the little one said, roll over, I'm crowded. Ready? Basically done. So they all rolled over and one fell out. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There were seven in the bed and the little one said, seven in the bed and the little one said, everybody together. Roll over, I'm crowded. So they all rolled over and one fell out. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Then the six in the bed and the little one said, six in the bed and the little one said, everybody. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Five in the bed and a little one said. Roll over, I'm crowded, everybody. Roll over, I'm crowded. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Four in the bed and a little one said. So they all rolled over and one fell out. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Three in the bed and a little one said. Three in the bed and a little one said. I see. I was waiting to see if you'd do it all by yourself. Let's do it together. Go. Roll over. I'm crowded. 
<laughs> so they all rolled over and one fell out. There were two in the bed and a little was said. Roll over and come on now. Roll over and crowded. So they all rolled over and one fell out. One in the bed and the last one said. One in the bed and the last one said. Good night. And he finally got the bed all to himself. That's what I'm talking about. Good job out there, everybody. Yeah. Now, if you were just sitting there doing that, dude, you missed out on the fun part. Make sure you join in. Make sure you do that part with us, too, on that fun part of this. So, now, let's take a look at the words of the song, 10 in the bed, right there. The roll over and crowded. Really good with that part over there. But now I want to take a look at that 10 in the bed. So, when we do 10 in the bed, just those words, 10 in the bed. Everybody say, 10 in the bed. Ready, go. Ten in the bed. Now, when you do just those words, it only takes two beats. One, two. It only takes two beats to do ten in the bed. So, those two beats are represented right here. Ten in the bed. One, two. Ten in the bed. One, two. Those two beats are right there. So, our job is to figure out, using our rhythms that we know, what rhythms go in the first blank and what rhythm goes in the second blank to match ten in the bed. Now, we can use the rhythms that we already know. We can use, and sorry, I'm drawing them here with this with my mouse, and it makes it look a little funny. Sorry. We could use our teary teary. It's messy. I'm sorry. Just, you know, again, get over it. We got that teary teary, teary teary, right? It could be teary teary. So let me draw those little dots. It's messy. Sorry, but I, I want to make sure we get this stuff done on time. Ready? Or we could do TT, right? It could be TT in, those, in either one of those blanks. It could be a ta in either one of those blanks. Now, since so there are two beats, and we know we say 10 in the bed on those beats, we're not going to have a rest in either one of these beats because we have syllables on each beat. So we're not going to have any rests. We don't need that. It also is not going to be a half note. Some of you may be familiar with half notes where they stretch over two beats by themselves. Ta. But we have more syllables than just one. So it's not going to be a half note either. So let's get rid of that half note right there. Ah, I lost my ta. Bring that ta back. There we go. Awesome. So it could be teary teary or tt or ta in either one of these blanks. So let's go ahead and start with um, let's start with ta. Let's make let's start easy. Ready? So now we got to do a little bit of a rhythm match, right? Now we got to do everybody just clap ten in the bed. It's gonna be fast to so get those syllables. Everybody say ten in the bed. Ten in the bed. Ten. Got to be fast. Ten in the bed. Ten in the bed. Now let's see if that matches the red rhythms. Let's see if that matches ta, ta. Everybody go ta, ta. Do 10 in the bed. Ta, ta. Did those match? No, they didn't match. They didn't match. Now that bed, that was pretty close, but it wasn't, it wasn't a perfect match. So not ta's, um, let's try tt's. Now you might be thinking to yourself, hey, Mr. Kowalski, 10 in the bed has four syllables, right? 10 in the bed has four syllables. So T, 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 there's four syllables right there. So everybody clap 10 in the bed. 10 in the bed. Go 10 in the bed. 10 in the bed. Now go T, 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 T. T, 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 10 in the bed. T, 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 T. Did they match? No, they didn't. Even though it had the same number of syllables, the rhythm wasn't the same. So it wasn't T, 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 T. So that's going to leave us with teary teary's. Well, let's put a teary teary in this one. Again, teary teary's, I got to draw fast. Sorry, they're messy. Again, get over it. And let's put a teary teary in this side over here too. Uh, 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 messy. messy. Uh, 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 uh. It's teary teary. It's close. We're good. So everybody clap 10 in the bed. Clap 10 in the bed. Now go teary, 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 Oh, that's like one a penny, two a penny. That's really fast. Everybody go one a penny, two a penny. Teary, 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 Ten in the bed. Teary, 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 teary. That's way too many claps. Way too many. Yeah, that's way too many to fit in there. So get rid of that teary, teary, and get rid of that teary, teary over there, too. So it's not that. So... Maybe it's a combination of those, right? Now, the closest thing we got to bed over here was ta, right? Bed, ta, bed, ta, one syllable. Bed, ta, so far so good, all right? But 10 in the, 
leaves us three syllables on this beat. Now, wait a minute. Teary, teary has four syllables. T, T has two syllables. But we don't have anything down there that has three syllables on the same beat. Until today! Now we've got something new. Now, when we clap ten in the, ten in the, the in the is faster. The in the, in the is quicker. Ten in the, ten in the. So, because those are two shorter sounds, they're still on the same beat, they got to get hooked together. But they're going to get hooked together with two bars like that. Ten is a little bit longer, but it still has to be hooked into this one. So it's going to look like this. Dun, dun, dun. And there's our new rhythm right there. It's kind of the first half of TT and the second half of Tiri Tiri. So since it's the first half of TT and the second half of Tiri Tiri, let's see if I can uh, get it written in here. It's going to be called T T and the second half of Tiri Tiri. It's going to be called T Tiri. Now I know that's weird. T Tiri. It's not teary teary. It's not quite the same thing because it doesn't have that second one right there. It's not TT because it has this double bar over here. It's called T teary. It's going to be three syllables. T teary. Longer and short, short. Long, short, short. Long, short, short. Long, short, short. T teary. T teary. Now put it together and it goes T teary ta. Everybody say T teary ta. T teary ta. Now say 10 in the bed. 10 in the bed. Go 10 in the bed. Say ten in the bed. Go T Tiri Ta. T Tiri Ta. One more time. Go T Tiri Ta. T Tiri Ta. So this is a new combination of these different notes getting put together into a new combination. So everybody, one more time. Go ten in the bed. Go T Tiri Ta. T Tiri Ta. Awesome. Now do this. It's the same thing. Ready? Everybody, clap. T Tiri Ta. Say ten in the bed. Awesome, now I have this. Ta, ta, ti, tiri, ta. Let's do that much. Ready, go. Ta, ta, ti, tiri, ta. If you want to use words, if you like to use words, like Gordon, Gordon likes those words. Ready? Don't worry about Gordon. Gordon's a teacher thing. Okay. Bed is over here, so you could do bed, bed, ten in the bed. Bed, bed, ten in the bed. Well, you could do that, yeah. Or you could say ta, ta, ti, tiri, ta. I like the ta's and the ti tiri's. Helps me figure it out. Everybody go ta, ta, ti tiri, ta. Ta, ta, ti tiri, ta. Awesome. How about this one? Ti, ti, ta, ti tiri, ta. Try that. Ready, go. Ti, ti, ta, ti tiri, ta. Try it again. That sounds good. Ready, go. Ti, ti, ta, ti tiri, ta. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You got it. Awesome. Um, let's, do, uh, let's do one more. One more. Because it's almost time to go. Ready? One more. Take a look at it. Do you need me to do it for you first? I think you can do it. Ready, set, here we go. T, T, R, E, T, 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 One more time. Ready, go. T, T, R, E, T, 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 Do that again. Ready, go. T, T, R, E, T, 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 Yeah, awesome. So we got these new rhythm combinations, and we're going to be looking at some songs that use these new rhythm combinations and pieces of music that use these new rhythm combinations. T tiris and tiri tiris and tts and tas coming up the next couple of times we have music class together. But right now, my time's up, and I got to get ready to go, and I got to let you guys get ready to go too, back to your teachers. So I will see you guys the next time we have music class. This is Mr. Kowalski signing off, saying goodbye, and I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thanks.